Hey guys, what's up? I cannot avoid this subject. Every single time I get on my Facebook or Twitter, that's all I see in the feed yesterday and so far today. So, I'm going to talk about it. Apparently, Phil Robertson said something that uh, the media didn't quite like and he got in trouble with A&E. So, I looked up what he said and I'm going to quote it for you and tell you why he's wrong. Here's some direct quotes from CNN. It seems like, to me, a vagina, as a man, would be more desirable than a man's anus. That's just me. I'm just thinking. There's more there. She's got more to offer. I mean, come on, dudes. You know what I'm saying? But hey, sin is not logical, my man. It's not logical. When he was asked what sin was in his mind, he said, start with homosexual behavior and just morph out from there. Bestiality. Sleeping around with this woman and that woman and that woman and those men. He also apparently made some comments on race as well. I never, with my eyes, saw the mistreatment of any blacks, not once. Where we lived was all farmers. The blacks worked with the farmers and I hoed cotton with them. I am with the blacks because we're white trash. We're going across the field. They're singing and happy. I never heard one of them, one black person, say, I'll tell you what, those doggone white people. Not a single word. Pre-entitlement. Pre-welfare, you say, were they happy? They were godly. They were happy. No one was singing the blues. So there's the quotes of what he said. And people were all pissed off because he's suspended from the show. They're lucky that A&E didn't just completely cancel Duck Dynasty. Except for the fact that A&E's making a lot of money from Duck Dynasty. And they don't want to lose that money that they're making. And that's the only reason that he got suspended and the show didn't get canceled. So everyone's all... Free speech, free speech, his free speech is being squashed, da, 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 da. Well, he works for a company. He signed a contract, and the views that he described of, uh, as his views, what he said does not coincide with the beliefs of A&E. Therefore, A&E looks bad by him saying them, so they are protecting themselves. Whether or not you think that that's, you know, going against his free speech, by him signing that contract, he has to represent not only himself, but A&E as a company, and they look bad when he says anti-gay things, as he said. A&E is very pro-LGBT movement. So what he said goes completely against their beliefs and what they do. Therefore, they have the right to suspend him. As I said, it's lucky they didn't fire him. A lot of people also argue that it wasn't on the show, so A&E has no right. Well, say you work for Kmart or whatever, and you're wearing your uniform, whatever you may do, and you punch somebody in the face... While wearing Kmart uniform, you get arrested in the mugshot. You still got, you know, you still got your work clothes on. Kmart's gonna fire you. That's just gonna happen. Now in Kmart, they they may not fire you, but you get the point. When you work for a company, when you have a signed contract, no matter what, you represent that company, whether you're doing your job or whether you're off the clock. And what he did, even though it wasn't on the show, it was with a magazine. He made some quotes that negatively reflected A and E. Therefore, that's why they suspended him. Suspended him, whatever that may do. The season's already been filmed, apparently, so he's already going to be in the season. It's not like they're going to go back and uh, edit uh, him out, particularly of the season. I agree with what A&E did by suspending him. I completely understand why they did it. I have common sense. Although I'm not a fan of the show, I am a fan of their beards. But him saying what he did, reflecting the company like that, you can't blame them for what they did. They could have fired him. They could have canceled the show completely. And for people out there that are fans of the show, you should be happy with the suspension versus the show being canceled if you're that big of a fan of the show. But you can't blame A&E for what they did. It could have been worse. You really got to understand that what he said makes them look bad more than it makes him look bad. And by him signing that contract, even though he does have his free speech, he has to be careful with what he says because with everything he says, it also reflects on the company. And that's what happened here. That's why they did what they did. And they're in the right. I'm sorry for anyone that's pissed off about that. They're, they are in the right. That's it. That's all I got. I just had to get this off my chest because, like I said, I cannot sign on to any social media without seeing something about this. So here's how it is. This is truth. This is exactly what it is right here. That's it. That's all I got. Three things left to do as always. Comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Later, guys.